and yo what is up guys it's spice 12 here and today i'm going to be talking about how to get started on bleach primera so basically a lot of people have a lot of problems getting started on this game it's like there's no tutorial there's nothing to do you don't even know like how to get started but i'm gonna be explaining to you how to get it done so we're gonna be starting off with race change because a lot of people have this question how to change my race because the races currently are generated randomly so you join either as a soul reaper or you know a hollow so that's those are the two spectrums right there for now they're they're probably going to be adding quincy's other other races they may be adding a system where you can select the race you want to be at the start but in order to change a race you're going to press k on your keyboard and look to the left hand side of the screen and you're going to see a little bar with race change it's going to be like currently in the video it's 100 robux and you'll pay for that if you don't have that though you can create an alternate account on roblox and join back in the game and then hopefully you get the race you wanted but those are the only two ways currently on how to change your race all right so if you're a soul reaper or in a wrong car and you're new to that um that race and that role i'll get into how to be in a wrong car later um then you're probably wondering how you rank up well basically how you rank up is by defeating various enemies defeating hollows you just like npc hollows player hollows a wrong cars if you're a soul reaper or a soul reaper if you're in a wrong car and after you defeat a certain amount then you'll rank up now when you join the game for the first time you gain a stat point i highly recommend you put that stat point into speed and then you obtain the first ability in the speed and the speed stat stat area because that is either flash step for soul reapers or sonido and that will help you greatly maneuver maneuvering around the map or even getting away from players or whatnot but it is i highly recommend it um, that you start off with that um so the next thing is how to change your zombot toe for soul reapers that may want to change their zombot toe well you press k again and there's an area on the left hand side again that just tells you all that same with iran car masks and lastly, we're going to be talking about spiritual pressure. Spiritual pressure is obtained at level 10 and up, up until rank 1 pretty much. Rank 1 being the highest tier of spiritual pressure and rank 2 and below and 2 to 10 are pretty much area of effect uh, spiritual pressure. Spiritual pressure is not it doesn't deal damage at the current at the current time of this video it does not deal damage. Um, I believe they're at trying they're going to be adding a system sorry where spiritual pressure does damage you um, but as far as it is it does not damage you but once you get 10 once you get to rank 10 and once you rank up to rank 2 your spiritual pressure will be area of effect meaning that once a player runs past you then they'll feel your spiritual pressure it when you get rank 1 then that's you get a captain's uh, spiritual pressure which affects uh, the entire server or map area Okay, so we're going to be moving on. How do hollows rank up? So, hollows is a completely different spectrum once you are not in a wrong car. Basically, how do they rank up? They rank up by defeating a wrong cars, soul reapers, or even NPC hollows or other player hollows as well. And the things that they drop, spirit energy or even souls, I'm not too sure, but either between those two, you eat them by pressing E and you grow in size. Once you grow in size after a certain amount, you will then evolve into a gillian a gillian um menos grande and then from menos grande you can turn into an wrong car note that most people wait to the adhuchis level which is right after menos grande to transform into an wrong car reason being once you transform into an wrong car at menos level you start off at rank 30 and once you transform into an wrong car at a Hooch's level you become a rank 15 wrong car straight up and it's pretty simple pretty easy you know straight 15 ranks free however the at Hooch's transformation um trans yeah the at Hooch's transformation is quite harder it takes longer to get the mass or even the amount of experience that is needed to transform into it the same way that you ate as a hollow, you eat as a menos, and then after a certain amount of eats, then you become an ad adhuchis. A uh, recent development for adhuchis and a wrong, uh, not wrong cards, but 
Adhuchus and Vastal Lords is that once they die a certain amount of times, they will be they will be devolved into an a Menos Grande once again. Now, if you want to turn into an Aron card, though, I didn't get into that. You will press Control and M on your keyboard to turn into an Aron card. Now, for Vastal Lords, it's completely different. It's a completely different thing. You have to be an Adhuchus level transformation. Sorry. Adhuchus transformation and once you transform into an Adhuchus there's one thing there's a few things you have to understand um, one if you die from an if you get defeated by an Adhuchus your mask will be broken and you will lose the chance to be able to transform into a Vastal Lord now to become a Vastal Lord in itself is quite difficult it's even harder than the other ways and Vastal Lords are quite strong and I'll get into that a little bit later now, to become a Vastal Lord, you have to fight other Adhuchas and break their masks. The amount is unknown, but it could be around 20 to 25 um, mask breaks or more. I'm not too sure, but 20 to 25, I would say, you know, around that area. Um, but Vastal Lords get various perks such as high speed regeneration, which allows them to heal themselves. Um, they get the Menos, Gillian, Cero, which is pretty strong, almost insta-shots you, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. insta-kills you, it's just, it's just crazy. They're also fast, faster than Adhuchus um, transformation, they also can flash step, or Sonido, sorry, they can Sonido, it's crazy, strong, overpowered, and nuts. Now, Vastalors can also turn into an Aronkar, and... A uh, Ronkar Vastal Lords are pretty strong because what happens is either they what happens when you turn into an Aronkar from a Vastal level is that you start at rank 15 and your rank 15 has 30 stat points. Now that means that they have a 15 other ranking, uh, 15 other um, ranks to go, which means that they so once they get to rank one they'll obtain um, 45 stat points. It is very overpowered. It is even stronger than at Hooch's level Aronkars because they get the 30 stat points at rank 15 and they have 15 extra ranks it is ridiculous ridiculous op so i mean if you guys are going for that you guys are gonna have a long time getting there but it is definitely worth it definitely worth it so i hope this video helped you guys i mean the vastal lord is crazy overpowered i mean if you guys are gonna get that i suggest you have some kind of alt account that you may want to play on because it's gonna take you a little while to get there but if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share for your friends subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video